Good morning everyone, it's 5.20 a.m. and I'm so proud of myself because I got up at 5, got ready and I changed my clothes to the sports clothes and I'm gonna go jogging. Woohoo! I didn't go jogging in a couple of years so this is something new to me and I mean especially coming, especially waking up so early <laughs> And catching the sunrise during my jogging is pretty new to me. I don't think I've ever done anything like this. I've seen a couple of groups, a couple of jogging groups in Changu doing it twice a week and I thought that this is something interesting and I thought that I might give it a go one day and this day has come. <laughs> So I'm um, really, really excited. I need to drive to Sese. I'm staying in Changu. I need to drive to a cafe called Flower Boy. I was just looking at my phone because I've never been to this place. And they organize free jogging in the morning. We start at 6 a.m. and the drive is roughly 20 minutes. Um, right now is 5.26. So I need to hurry up and I need to drive to the meeting point. But I'm super, super excited because yesterday when I decided that I want to go jogging, I was still doubting myself and I wasn't sure if I was going to make it or not. Uh, can I wake up at 5 a.m. because I woke up at 5.05 .05 and I made it. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Guys, let's do it. Let's burn some calories on a fresh air. For the sunrise, let's carry the sunrise on the way. Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit excited and I mumble a little bit because I haven't had a coffee. I'm gonna have a coffee after my run is done. You can probably tell I've already started jogging and I'm halfway through. And I needed to take a short break. Oh, it's exhausting. I didn't jog for ages, probably 10 years. Only run a little bit on a treadmill. But I can make it. It's pretty beautiful because, I mean, look how peaceful is the area. We are running between the rice fields and I can see a volcano on the back but you won't see it because it's a little bit foggy. Oh, proud of myself, proud of myself, but I'm dying. Look at this, this is young rice. So you can see that they just planted it here and over there it's a little bit bigger already so it's pretty cool to see different colors over here and it's pretty cool i'm not the last one there's like five people behind me but the rest of the runners are not visible because they were so fast uh, <laughs> i'm a little bit slow but it's okay look at this you guys there's a little bit of the sunrise over there it's looking beautiful I think I forgot to tell you that today's run is five kilometers uh, you can do a different route and run 10 kilometers but I'm definitely not doing it I think 5k five kilometers is enough for the first time oh I am it's such a good workout I was checking my heartbeat and it's 155 so you can tell I'm exhausted. Hey, puppy. <laughs> Something I absolutely love about Bali is the smell of freshly burnt incense in the morning. This is amazing. And you can smell it on the whole street. I love it. This area, Sese, is so peaceful. I absolutely love it here. And everyone is just so friendly. I know the basics of Bahasa Indonesia, so I know a little bit of Indonesian language. Um, so I just said good morning to a few people and everyone was just smiling and friendly and they, they asked a few questions. So I love the vibe here. Bali is so 
special and unique. Oh, I made it. Everyone made it. We've got some puppies here and I'm just waiting for my coffee. Um, I'm gonna have something to wake up, although I'm already like quite awake, but I'm addicted to the caffeine, so can't wait to get my coffee and look at this view. Oh. Jogging done, coffee done, now it's time to go home. I need to take a shower and I don't want to work from my house today so I'm gonna go to a co-working place. I think I'm gonna go to Tribal but I'll check other options as well. I'll see what's going on online. There's plenty of groups of people co-working together at some cafes in Bali so I'll just have a look and I feel so accomplished. I feel so good. I feel so clean energet energetically. I just feel that my energy has shifted so much ever since I started being more active physically and oh, it feels great. I took my babies for a walk and I'm really really lucky because the area where I stay um, used to be super green. Now they started building up some new projects, so this is a little bit disappointing, but we still have a massive rice field just on the back of my house. Um, so this is pretty cool because I have a space to walk with my dogs. If you stay in Changu center, I don't think it's possible to walk your dogs anywhere nice. It's just streets everywhere. It's just concrete, so feeling pretty lucky here, although it's quite messy, as you can see. I almost forgot that uh, I signed up uh, for a women's circle that is happening today. So I checked my calendar and I saw that I have a workshop at noon. So I thought there's no point for me to go to another co-working area. So I just arrived to local cafe. This is where the workshop is going to be. This is where the women's circle is going to be held. And they also have a lot of other different workshops. I've been coming to local cafe in the last two weeks, three times a week, four times a week. Um, I've attended two women's circle. I've attended um, a workshop yesterday how to take better pictures on iPhone they have a lot of different stuff so you can always check it out and it's pretty lovely here the area is so pretty and I'm the first customer so I think I'm the only one so far it's very very peaceful very quiet I just got a coconut so I'm gonna hydrate myself a little bit after the morning run I'm gonna edit a few videos and then I'm excited for the women's circle because uh, I attended two women's circle last week and it was so helpful and it was just so nice. <laughs> I loved it. It's so nice to build a community that supports your community, that understands you. It's just a nice experience. So each women's circle has a theme and today's theme is gonna be getting out of your comfort zone. So this is gonna be something super, super interesting because that's exactly what I've been doing for the last month. Getting out of my comfort zone, pushing myself, trying new things and getting to know new people, catching up with strangers, having interesting conversations. So it's definitely something that I will benefit from. Right, my computer is waiting. I'm not gonna waste my time, it's time to work. I was just thinking that it's pretty crazy how uh, staying physically active can affect our mental health. I don't know. It, it, it's just, it was just a morning run uh, that I did today, but I feel like I accomplished something really, really big. So it just gave me so much power, so much energy. I'm so proud of myself and I just feel a little bit like a different person. And I'm being so productive at work. I finished editing two videos and I'm working on the third one right now. So yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, I just signed up for another workshop today. So I'm gonna have 
two uh, events to go to. I just signed up for Empower Your Path transformational workshop with Jordan River. Um, it's gonna be pretty interesting. This one, there's only five people coming, five people attending. Um, maybe it's gonna be a good thing. So it's gonna be a small, smaller circle and it will just allow us to connect a little bit better. Uh, this one is gonna happen at 5 p.m. Yeah, 5 p.m. to 6.30. I'm going a little bit crazy with my workshops, but I've benefited so much from them that I just want to continue and I want to push through. And I think it's just working so well for me. So why would I stop? I'm waiting for my breakfast and I just got uh, watermelon juice. Oh, so good. And without extra sugar, perfect. This is my brekkie today. I got a juice, as I told you, and I just got my breakfast my sandwich avon toast and it looks beautiful i got a little bit of beetroot, hum uh, beetroot hummus on the top and two poached eggs so i better hurry up and eat that when it's still warm just having such a good day seriously i don't know what it is it must be something in the air i'm so productive i'm happy i have a great food the weather is gorgeous oh having a blast today I have 20 minutes left till we start the women's circle and I can show you the room because I'm alone here. I'm just watching some YouTube videos. I got a little bit tired of working. I'm gonna take a break and this is such a lovely location. They have a lot of fun games. I don't know if you've heard about this game but they have a secret Hitler. <laughs> I'm kind of curious about this one. Uh, I think they are hosting a game night tonight. I might attend to it, but I will see how I feel because having three events, having three meetups at one day, it's a little bit much. But at the same time, I finished working already and what else can I do? My friends, half of my friends have left the island and they're going for summer holidays in Europe. We're going to be spending two months in Europe, so I feel a little bit lonely. I think it's a good chance to get to know new people and just have fun and kill the time a little bit, especially on such a long day as today. Just to remind you, I woke up at 5 a.m. Gosh, so early. Um, yeah, I think after the women's circle, I'm going to go home and take a nap. And then at 5, I have another meetup. Busy day. <laughs> good, I like it. <laughs> just finished another women's circle and today it was just amazing i think most of the girls were around my age which was quite refreshing as well because uh, a lot of people who come to bali are in their early 20s which is great but i feel like i want to meet people my age as well um so Today was a little bit emotional to, for me. I opened up about a lot of struggles that I'm facing. And I also, um, we got an assign assignment to write down, so today's uh, circle was about getting out of a comfort zone. And I need, we needed to write down what is something that we would like to accomplish, but we are worried about, and it's like stepping out of the comfort zone. So I said that for me, well, I didn't say that, but I wrote down that for me, it's filming in, in, it's filming in English. And then we were supposed to write down why is that something difficult for me? What can I miss? What can be the difficulty? So I wrote a lot, but one of them was, my English is not perfect. Another one was I may fail. Another one was my vlogs may be boring and stuff like that. But then we also needed to write down what can we gain from stepping out of the comfort zone. And oh my gosh, it was a lot. <laughs> so it's definitely worth doing it. So right now, me talking to you, this is me stepping out of my comfort zone, guys. Um, I hope it's entertaining for you because for me, it's both entertaining stressful and it's not both there's gonna be more than two things that are related to it and it's also something that helps me grow and for me stepping out of my comfort zone is when I do something that is slightly uncomfortable but I feel the growth and I feel that I am 
becoming stronger and better person. So this is exactly what those women's circle are for. And I'm so happy that I came here. I met really, really incredible people today. And we covered so many different countries. There were girls from Finland, Korea, China, England, so many different countries, Singapore. So it's really, really cool to surround yourself with people from different backgrounds because that's how we grow as well. It's all about the growth.